Do you think we're going to get it? I told him he's the troublemaker because every single time he's attached to a mortgage, it takes longer. Yes. We're all in this mud together, love. It's not just yeah, me but I am mud not married to three other women. So our finances are very, very complicated because there's the five of us and we're interconnected financially like crazy. I'm on four mortgages. I'm just got mixed feelings and I'm just, I, all I want is just a place for my kids to have a home, just a home. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Feb Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Listen, I was doing some digging and one of the topics that came up a lot last season on Sister Wives was that Christine Brown said that Robin Brown never lived plural marriage. Now we already did a video about her mom and was her mom a mistress and was her mom a plural wife? And did Robin really have a good framework of understanding if and how to be a plural wife? And the resounding answer is that she grew up in polygamy. She grew up, grew up in plural marriage. Her, the way she grew up was different than Christine and Mary, but it didn't make her experience any less valid. But along the way, Robin did not play fair. And then I'm going to show to you exactly a moment in time when Robin didn't play fair and how her continuing to plant seeds, make snide comments and complain about Cody's finances, how this ultimately resulted in Cody making the decision to never have a mortgage with any of his other wives ever. I said it, I said it. Do you remember this past season, Christine Brown made the comment that she, for the very first time in her marriage with Cody, was able to be on a mortgage with him. It was 2018 and they were buying a house together in Flagstaff. While she lived in Las Vegas, Cody was not on a mortgage with her and she, he was not on the deed with her. Christine owned a home without Cody. But while in Vegas, Cody owned a home not only with Mary, but also with Robin. Once Cody and Robin got married, he actually went on to the deed of the home with Robin and they took out a home equity line back in 2015. But it was when Cody and Robin were trying to buy their house in 2019 that Robin was annoyed that Cody was on mortgages with other women. In a world where you're supposed to play fair and Robin had benefited previously, previously from other women sharing their assets with her, she seemed annoyed that Cody would have his assets tied up with other women. The difference between when she bought her house back in 2012 when she was in Las Vegas was she wasn't legally married to Cody. And by the time in 2019 when she was trying to buy another house, this time as a married woman, she didn't want to deal with Cody's finances. And by the time they moved in together, Cody suddenly and abruptly decided that he didn't want to be on mortgages anymore with the wives, even though for multiple episodes, Robin had been complaining about his finances. It's almost like Robin was indirectly planting seeds the entire time that, hey, Cody, if you want to be with me, if you want to be in my life, and if we're going to be property owners together, you need to ditch these other ladies. And it was at that moment that Cody made the decision what appeared to be on his own, to drop Christine. And it was that decision in 2020, a year after he purchased his home with Robin, that Cody made the decision to remove Christine and him from their joint ownership. And he deeded over the home to Christine. Now this decision by Cody gave Christine the home in her name and a mortgage in her name with Cody having no ties and no claim to that money. And that was all Christine needed to get free. But it was also sort of a double-edged sword. Had Cody stayed on that mortgage, she might never have wanted to leave. Because she said this season that owning that home together was a very first for her. And it made her feel seen as a wife to have joint ownership with her husband. And when he made the decision to remove her, 
and to remove him. When he made the decision to remove himself from her home, she felt a betrayal. She felt like he didn't want to have things with her. He, she felt like Robin was more important. And then within a year of this, Cody and Robin refinanced their loan. It's my guess with all the trouble that they had qualifying for that home in Flagstaff for McMansion, they probably got a junk mortgage that likely had high interest rates and maybe crappy terms. And in a, within a couple of years, they needed to get out of those terms by refinancing, which is what they did in 2021. So you've already seen how Cody and Robin were trying to qualify for the home. What I wanna show you is that after they bought the home, suddenly Cody has this decision on his own that he is going to give up ownership of all the other homes and he's never gonna go on a mortgage with his other wives again, which is kind of weird if you're trying to claim that none of your, mortgage, none of your marriages are any different. This almost proves that having a legal marriage has benefits for the woman because Robin's gonna be able to get that mortgage with him, but nobody else. Check it out. Not unusual for us. No, not for us. Uh, what, what we've discovered is that um, because I'm so intertwined financially with all the wives and interconnected that anytime I'm involved in financing something, it's very confusing for anybody yeah. who looks at our finances. Just, just, and the reason is, is that we're doing bad finances is yeah. because our family tax return is 50 pages. And I think it's also because we're a plural family and our paperwork is complicated because Cody is connected to all of his wives financially in different ways. So they keep Here's the difference between Robin and Mary. When Robin became the legal wife, she didn't want to share. She didn't want to share money. She didn't want to share finances. She didn't want to share credit. She didn't want to share unless it meant that the women were giving her money. Because in all honesty, why would Janelle and Mary need to provide documents to Cody and Robin's lender for their home? Oh, that's right. Because money that they received for their down payment came from who? Janelle and Mary. He was on a UCC loan with, with Janelle, but he had no financial loans with Mary. So Mary had to get into the situation because she was giving money. But Christine wasn't giving anything. All she was doing was causing problems for their qualifications. Christine was a problem. Christine's mortgage was a problem and Christine wasn't contributing money to their house. So within a year of that, he's off the mortgage. He's off the house. But did you see again how she's like, well, he's just so tied to all these other women, kind of like what she said in the very beginning of this video where she said, well, I'm not married to three other women. It's not my fault that this is taking so long. It's yours. She is playing a card of, if you don't have these problems, we'll be able to do what we want. Now in Mary's world, I'm assuming she would have just understood that this is how it is. She probably wouldn't have complained. She would have done whatever she needed to make sure that everyone had what they needed equitably. And she probably would have made sure that everyone was taken care of. But Robin and Mary don't have the same personalities. Mary was equitable, Robin was not. But now see how Cody's opinion changes here. Okay. So they keep asking for more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. And it's starting to spread into the other wives as well, like Janelle and Mary and Christine, I, everybody. I just think wanting after so this experience, I'm finally gonna say, wives, you each finance your own home alone and, and keep me off of it. There's, after months and months and months of being needled and poked and told, hey, you and I need to we're having problems with this qualification. It's all your fault because you're tied financially to these other women. And Cody being like, yes, yes, yes. And it's just plural marriage and it's all these different branches and they need all of our finances. Not at all revealing to anyone that half of the reason why other women are involved has nothing to do with Cody being on other mortgages, but because Janelle and Mary had to help with the down payment. 
But again, Christine, who is the one and the only one that has another mortgage on a home, he didn't have mortgages on the land. I want to remind you, there was not a mortgage on that land. There was a UCC financing statement, which was a private agreement to pay the land off within five years. That's not a mortgage. It was between them and the owner, the seller of the land. The only company that they actually had a loan with and a mortgage with was on Christine's house. And now suddenly when they're moving into their home and it's in the summer of 2019, Cody says, I'm just gonna tell my wives that they're on their own next time. Which by the way, is no different than it was when they were in Vegas. When they were in Las Vegas and they were all buying houses, Cody was not on anyone else's mortgages but the home that he owned with Mary. And again, if you remember, the home that took the longest for them to actually close on was Mary because of Cody's ties financially to the other women. Now, Mary was upset and she was frustrated that it took so long, but at no time in 2012 when they were closing, did Mary suggest to Cody that he not be financially tied to any of the other women. She was upset, she was emotional, and she wanted to move in because she wanted to have that for her child, but she never made Cody believe that he would have to cut off the other women. But Robin did. It's an example of how different they are. And it was Janelle that said that she was worried that once Cody and Robin got married that they would ride off into the sunset and that they would forget about their goals as a family. She wasn't sure if Robin was going to be equitable. And when push came to shove, Robin was not equitable. And then 2019, Christine finally is feeling good and seen. But Robin is so competitive with Christine because Christine was Cody's only wife at this point that I think he really had much of an intimate relationship with. Even though Janelle says that they were still friends with Benefit and had a great relationship, whatever. It's very clear to me with how Christine left and how angry he was that Cody liked Christine. You don't react the way that Cody did when someone leaves and not like that woman. He put up the biggest fight when, when Christine left. And I believe because he really liked Christine. I think he really liked her a lot. And I think he really wanted her to stay in the family because her name kind of helped them. You know, she's Rulon Allred's granddaughter. And if he loses Rulon Allred's granddaughter, how is that going to look to the culties? Not so hot. But Cody was influenced and enabled to make the change that he did through Robin. And it's just another way that these two were not living plural marriage. By 2020, when, it, when the pandemic hits, at this point, Cody and Robin completely separate from the family. So when they moved into that house, Cody had already laid the groundwork that he and Robin were separating from everyone. Christine and Janelle have both revealed this past season that Cody did not pay or help pay their rent or their mortgages when they lived with him. The entire time Cody was with Robin, he was helping with her home payment. He was not helping with Christine's home payment. He was not helping with Janelle's home payment. He was not helping Janelle with her RV payment. He wasn't doing anything to help any of the women financially, but all of the women were expected to help financially support Robin. And when Robin couldn't take it anymore, she made sure that they pushed them all out. Now, I'm not going to say that this is a bad deal for the ladies because now they're finally free and out of polygamy and I am so on board with them being free from this insidious, disgusting cult. But this is just to me another example of how the wives played their cards very differently in this marriage. Robin was always out for number one, always out to be the top wife, wanted everyone to bow down to her, wanted everyone to even give her a release. Queen Robin wanted them to say that she could go on and be happy with Cody. Do you remember that? I do. So I can imagine when he was finally removed from that mortgage and he said, and he gave it to Christine, she was probably heartbroken and devastated. And not long after that, he says that he doesn't want to have an intimate marriage with her anymore. It's almost like 
they were planning to buy this house and move everyone out of the family. I don't know if that was the strategy. I don't know if that was the goal, but it certainly looks like once they got what they needed for that house, they didn't care about anyone else. And they used the pandemic to isolate everyone else away from them to make sure that they had no contact with anyone. They put up all these roadblocks and plays and, and ways so that they didn't have to deal with anyone else. And then they would blame the women for not following their rules and blame the women for not being a family and doing what they're supposed to do and not being loyal. But in reality, there was nothing any of those women could have done to be loyal because they were already a couple. They were already living monogamy. They were already per living as a married unit, as a husband and wife, and they were not a family. But on television, they pretended like it. They gaslit, they made everyone all the other wives were the bad people. And now that Robin is finally being getting a piece of what she's been doing to them, she's retreated. She's not online. Cody doesn't let her talk to anyone. Her kids are not allowed to talk to anyone. He's isolating her from everyone else. She is being destroyed publicly and rightfully in many ways because they deceived not only the wives, but also the public. It was like a shady, shifty move, but Ultimately, that move is what gave Christine the money to leave. So it was like the crummiest, most disgusting thing they could have done, but it was also a huge gift. I don't even know if that makes sense. Like, do you really want to thank your abuser? This was a mistake that Cody made, a mistake that he paid for because Christine walked away with equity and that equity she was able to put into her new house and she used that equity again and the paycheck she made on her wedding to buy a place down in Moab. So now Christine is a real estate mogul and Cody is still a chump. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.